In this video I show you how to use a web client and how to get a website uh, content into a web uh, into your program in your developing system. So uh, <coughs> in I prepared a, a little bit of code and now when I start my code <coughs> it's written in C# -sharp and I'm using it in this case as a word add-in uh, but it's default C sharp code uh, with Windows forms and uh, WPF. It's on the same uh, same system. Now, when <coughs> what I have here is I'm created a tran translate button, <coughs> and this, this translate button goes into a website. The this website. This is from. That's the original website. What we have here, it's a Google translation website. And I wanted to read out this, uh, this client, uh, this node where this hello is. And unfortunately, this doesn't, doesn't uh, Google makes this stuff as Ajax, but primarily I may show how, um, how, the, trans uh, how the web client works. So <coughs> when we have here our, um, our web client or our code then uh, first I said okay give me a new URI uh, by the uh, by the uh, browser URL so this is translate google.com for in this case and I said okay create a new web client the web client itself is let's say here it's not shown it's in under uh, system.net is the web client and uh, the HTML document with this uh, uh, XML nodes is under H uh, HTML a agility pack. <coughs> so I show this is a WPF and Windows Forms and under Universal Platform Apps that's a little bit different. <coughs> so I'd better go we will go on on this this point. Uh, I said okay create a new web client called web client with a small w uh, and then I added a header that's not uh, not, not uh, important then I said uh, for this easy point is web client download string so it uh, <coughs> it pushes the URL the web client goes to the website and grabs all those uh, characters and uh, the, as a string and <coughs> this goes uh, straight in a string and then I said okay uh, create a new HTML document HTML document is um, this structure what we see here when we go to uh, to the structure this one with the stiff nodes and all this this stuff HTML this is a typical tree and then we say okay create a html document blank at the moment and load it with this string and then we say okay in this document uh, document node select node by a by x path x path is as you see there it's front slash front front slash span this means this means give me that span element so I say here show me this give me this span element and then um, front slash front slash uh, span and then and with this uh, brackets uh, add ID is result box uh, result box so this is uh, give me the node with the ID result box and this work works pre pretty good now when we go to the uh, to the watch at runtime then we will see okay here's my node and so this is the tree this is the tree when I have a look on that it downloaded it as a string then we converted it to the uh, HTML document and now I we selected the special node and here at, at the node we will see 
the inner HTML and inner text is zero, there's nothing in there. Also the outer element says, okay, this is the span and inside, but inside there is nothing. This is because uh, this website is loaded with Ajax at runtime, uh, so the stuff comes at a later point. But uh, basically the, the, s the stuff itself works pretty good. So for a default website, for website content, where you have to push something and where you have a straight URL, uh, this code works pretty good. On <coughs> what you have to think about on, uh, on this behavior is sometimes that we have written now this stuff in as a sync. So this addresses, pushes the, uh, the web client and gets the uh, and runs as long as it uh, waits for the result. So, and this is, this system may hang if you uh, if you have no web connection, or no, uh, and then you have to uh, write it in a different way. So, this is the async um, method, but that's on another point. So, I hope I could help you on a little bit on this point. And if you have questions, then give me a response.